motion. An object is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to its surroundings with the passage of time. For example, a school bag lying on the table does not change its position until disturbed by somebody. Thus, they are considered to be in a state of rest. An object is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surroundings with the passage of time. For example, a moving car and children playing football change their position with respect to their surroundings fixed point. Thus, they are considered to be in a state of motion. Rest and motion are relative terms. Imagine yourself sitting in a moving car and looking outside. You will observe that your position is changing with respect to the trees, the lamp posts, etc. However, your position is not changing with respect to another person sitting in the same car. Hence, we can say that rest and motion are relative terms. Motion in a straight line or linear motion If the path of a moving body or object is a straight line, such a motion is known as a linear motion. For example, if a boy start moving from position A and passes through positions B and C to arrive at D as shown. Since the path from A to D is a straight line, the motion of the boy is said to be straight line or linear. Types of motion The motion of an object in a straight line is called linear motion. For example, motion of a free-falling ball from a height. The motion of an object revolving around a fixed point is called circular motion. For example, motion of a blade of a table fan. The motion of an object completing one revolution in certain time interval is called periodic motion. For example, motion of hand of a clock. When any object executes repetitive motion with respect to a fixed point, then it is called an oscillatory motion. For example, motion of a pendulum. When object executes random motion, it is called random motion. For example, Motion of flying butterfly Distance and displacement Ali wants to reach his friend Ronak's house in 5 minutes. As can be seen from the given figure, the distance travelled from Ali's house to Ronak's house is 4 km plus 3 km, that is 7 km. This actual distance travelled is known as the distance. But the shortest distance calculated by joining the starting point and the destination point with a straight line is 5 km. This distance is known as displacement. Distance It is the actual path covered by a moving object between its initial and final position. The SI unit of distance is meter m. 1 km is equal to 1000 m is equal to 1 lakh cm. 1 m is equal to 100 cm is equal to 1 upon 1000 km, 1 cm is equal to 1 upon 100 m is equal to 1 upon 1 lakh km. Displacement It is the shortest distance between the initial and the final positions in a fixed direction. The SI unit of displacement is also meter m. The other units are centimeter cm and kilometer km. Difference between distance and displacement Distance It is the actual distance travelled between the initial and the final position. It is a scalar quantity. It depends on the path followed by the object. It is always positive. Displacement It is the shortest distance between the initial and the position. It is a vector quantity. It does not depend on the path. It can be positive, negative or zero. Uniform and non-uniform motion If an object covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, however small these intervals may be, its motion is said to be uniform motion. In uniform motion, neither speed nor direction of motion changes with time. It means that if an object moves with a constant speed in a straight line, it is said to be in uniform motion. The table shows that the car covers equal distance in equal interval of time. Thus, 
the motion is said to be uniform motion. The distance time graph for uniform motion is always a straight line. Non-uniform motion. If an object covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time, its motion is said to be non-uniform. When your school bus reaches your bus stop, its speed is zero. It slowly speeds up. As it nears another bus stop, it slows down again and comes to zero speed. The type of motion exhibited by this bus is known as non-uniform motion. Table shows that a body in motion covered equal distance in unequal interval of time. Thus, this motion is said to be non-uniform motion. Distance time graph for non-uniform motion is not a straight line. Speed Speed is defined as the distance travelled by a moving object per unit time. Speed is equal to distance travelled upon time taken. If distance is measured in meter and time is measured in second, then the unit of speed is meter per second. Other units of speed are kilometer per hour, centimeter per second and meter per minute. Suppose a student starts from his home on bicycle at 8 a.m. in the morning and reaches his school after 5 minutes, which is 500 meters away from his home. Now calculating speed, distance between home and school is equal to 500 meter and time taken by student to cover this distance is equal to 10 minutes. Now putting these values, speed is equal to distance upon time, which is equal to 500 upon 10, which is equal to 50. So speed of the student is 50 meter per minute.